hello welcome to my youtube channel today's video is about the formative assessment 2 2003 24 question paper of mathematics for class 6th maximum march 20 and the time duration was 45 minutes solve these problems four questions are given each one carries one mark a polygon has five sides then this polygon is called a pentagon as it has five sides so it is called a pentagon hcf of two consecutive numbers is one two centimeters are equal to 20 millimeters the line segment pq is denoted by without any arrow mark only a bar should be written that is d is the correct answer find the least number which when divided by 12 16 14 and 36 leaves a remainder 7 in each case the solution is given by the end of this question paper don't skip the video see till the question uh, see the complete question paper with answers till the end name each of the following triangles in two different ways these answers are also given in the answer paper you can see them solve the following problem where will the hour hand of a clock stop in the following cases explain your answer a starts at 2 and makes 1 by 2 of a revolution in clockwise direction b starts at 5 and makes 3 by 4 of a revolution in clockwise direction next fourth question 8a check whether the number 10824 is divisible by 2345 using divisibility rules justify your answer draw any four types of polygons and name them number which when divided by 12 16 14 36 leaves a remainder of 7 so first of all here we can see the least number that is divisible by 12 16 14 and 36 is the lcm of 12 16 14 36 so here in this way the lcm is calculated the lcm comes out to be 1008 that is 1008 that means 1008 is the least number which is completely divisible by 12 16 14 and 36 but the required number is 7 should be the remainder when that number is divided by 12 16 14 and 36 and it should be the least number so for that what we have to do whatever the remainder that is required we have to add that remainder to the lcm so that whatever extra we add it it becomes the remainder so that's why 7 should be added to 1008 so here upon adding 7 to 1008 the answer we have obtained is 1008 one zero one five so this is the answer this is the required number next sixth one in the diagram the first one given is a right angle triangle because 90 degrees is observing uh, you can see 90 degrees there but it is a scalene triangle as all the three sides are different in measurements so two names we have given for the same triangle one with respect to the sides the other one with respect to the angles number two a obtuse angle triangle because you can very clearly see that the angle is more than 90 degrees in the second diagram so it is obtuse angle triangle and two sides are given to be equal that's why it is an isosceles triangle also so the 7a it is an eight marks question uh, uh, no 7a one revolution means 12 hours half revolution means 6 hours now the hours hand is at 2 and 6 hours distance it has to cover then the hours hand will be at 8 hours or that means it is at 8 3 by 4 of a revolution means 3 by 4 into 12 that is 9 hours initially the hours hand is at 5 5 plus 9 is 14 but we have a 12 hours clock so 14 minus 12 you can subtract so then you get 12 2 2 hours so that means at 2 it points in a question 
two questions are given internal choice is there a and b in the first one a what is required to find means for one number is given 10824 and it should be checked whether it is divisible by 2 3 4 and 5 so for that a number is divisible by 2 if the units place is any one number so here the units place of the given number is 4 so that's why it is divisible by 2 next divisibility by 3 a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3 here the sum of the digits of the number 10824 is 1 plus 0 plus 8 plus 2 plus 4 that is 15 so it is divisible by 3 so the entire number 10824 is also divisible by 3 divisibility rule for 7 is the number present in the last two digits or the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4 then the given number is divisible by 4 here the number obtained by taking the last two digits in the same order is 24 as 24 is divisible by 4 so 10824 is also divisible by 4 the last digit of 10824 is neither 0 nor 5 so it is not divisible by 5 and in this there is an internal choice if not a you can attempt b the question b is write any four polygons and write their names so here first one is taken as taken it is a triangle the second one contains four sides so it's a quadrilateral and the third one contains five sides so it is called a pentagon and the last one contains six sides it is called a hexagon so this is the complete question paper solved and brought before you for practice purpose i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel like it and share it and write a comment thank you for watching